Hi, my name is Mani Ali Kani. I am the Dean and Professor at CITOR Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to the first session of Case Discussion by CITOR Channel. The topic of today's discussion is personalized mechanotherapy. Uh, similar to the personalized medicine, personalized mechanotherapy is evolving in orthodontics. It means that we tailor the mechanotherapy based on the patient's need. And this, did, this need is not just what we are looking as a doctor, but also we're listening to our patients and how they can go through the treatment. After all, these are the patients that need to tolerate the treatment. So the case that we're gonna discuss is an example of this personalized mechanotherapy. Uh, a patient comes and he's uh, complaining about the anterior open bite. Adult female patient that had orthodontics treatment before and during that orthodontics treatment to address the open bite, the fourth premolars has been extracted. However, the open bite is not resolved. Uh, upon intraoral exam, we notice that a patient has class one molar and canine in one side and a class three molar and canine in the other side. The third molars are present, posterior crossbite exists and anterior open bite extended from the premolar to premolar. A panoramic radiographic shows root resorption that can be related to the orthodontics treatment that she received before. Self analysis demonstrate that patient has a skeletal class one relationship and it seems is normodivergent, but anterior open bite is clear in the sift also. How we can address the needs of this patient? We went through the different option with the patient. Patient were more interested to receive aligners treatment. When we discussed with the patients about the pro and con of aligner treatment versus braces, uh, she decided to go with the braces, but she didn't want to have braces on anterior teeth for a long time. Also, she refused to receive any TADS or temporary anchorage devices. Therefore, we decided to address his, uh, her constriction by applying an expander. But because the patient had root resorption, we decided to go very slowly, keep our force very light. We know that expansion is most of the time worse than the open bite. But the patient didn't want to have TAD to address the vertical uh, dimension, especially after the expansion. So we decided to make a specific mechanotherapy uh, designed for this patient using the TPA and some things that we call free object design that I will discuss in one of our mechanotherapy session with you um, to address the vertical problem. Um, the posterior uh, occlusion was addressed by two couple system. Again, we will, we're gonna have a discussion on two couple system and how we can use to uh, establish the occlusion in the back. And when it's coming to the anterior um, open bite, we decided to use the anterior V-band in the format of the one couple system. We will have discussion about that too. So let's see what happened after all we did all this treatment. Uh, it seems that after the treatment, the molar and canines were in a class one relationship. And even though the patient has the wisdom teeth and refused to extract the wisdom teeth, we were able to establish an occlusion without application of any TADS or any excessive mechanics. The open bite was resolved. The expansion, as I said, was resolved. Uh, if you look at the pan, it seems that we did not contribute to additional root resorption. And that was a good news. And when we're looking at the CEF, we, it seems that majority of our treatment was mostly focusing on extruding of anterior teeth and uh, establishing a proper occlusion without changing the height of the posterior segment. And patient maintained the skeletal class one relationship and normal divergent relation. What lessons from this case we learned? Well, first, if the patient had a root resorption, uh, we can still deliver the treatment. We need to um, follow the patient with this follow-up panorex, make sure patient is aware of the risk of the root resorption, especially if they had previous orthodontics treatment, but that should not be a reason that we should not continue the treatment. Patient requires a treatment, need to be addressed, the static and functional needs of the patient. The second lesson that we learned, um, in adult expansion it still can be achieved, even in absence of the TAD. Uh, well, it can be different component of dental and skeletal. We did not take a CBCT in, in this case, but as you can see, the patient could benefit from this expansion, slow expansion that was delivered every three days. 
The third lesson that we learned in this case was that open bite cases not necessarily need to be treated with the extraction of the premolars. Um, as you can see, we already had the premolar extraction in the previous orthodontics treatment, and now just by extrusion and proper mechanic, we were able to close the open bite uh, adequately. Uh, but I think the most important part of this, um, this uh, personalized mechanotherapy that the treatment only lasted for 10 months. We were very specific on the movement that we wanted and we focused to uh, achieve that movement. And during this movement, it's actually anterior teeth were not that much exposed to braces. Braces started after the expansion, after the posterior occlusion has been set up, and it was, it was the last part of our treatment that was achieved I think the main, main lessons that we learned from the cases like this is that personalized mechan mechanotropy is here to stay and to replace uh, one treatment for all the conditions. Uh, we cannot treat all the medical diseases with one drug and similarly we cannot have just aligners or braces to address all the problem. Everything needs to be tailored based on the patients and we need to listen to the patient's need and change our treatment accordingly. Uh, patients are part of the team and they are the ones that make the decision. Thank you for uh, listening to another session of c channel. If you are interested to learn more about this case, please follow the link below. I'm looking forward to discuss another case with you in future. Thank you.